So let's try. Uh, now, uh, again, let me um, make it clear uh, that what we need to do is uh, we just need to verify which function is the solution of this given uh, problem in uh, question number 55 to 6, 57, 8. So we just need to match uh, the functions from A, B, C, D to the equations fr uh, from 55, 56, 57, 58. Uh, such that the derivative uh, of the functions uh, in 55 to 58 are equal to the derivative of any of uh, a, b, c, d and uh, initial condition is also satisfied along with the initial condition. So let's try. Uh, it will make you clear what to, uh, what to do and how to do. And uh, let's start with that thing. So in part A, derivative dy by dx is equal to uh, d by dx of integral 1 over x, 1, uh, from x, 1 to x of 1 over t d minus 3. So this is equal to first part, uh, derivative of the first part that is derivative of the integral uh, using the Fundamental theorem part 1, we have 1 over x and uh, this is 3 is constant, so derivative is 0. That is, uh, in this case, derivative is 1 over x. Now, we can see in uh, 55 and 58, we have derivative of y is 1 over x. Now, which condition satisfies uh, this uh, problem? Now, let's see. In this case, y pi is minus 3. That is, we have to check. Uh, integral from 1 to pi, 1 over t dt minus 3 is minus 3 or something else. And in this case, we have to check integral from 1 to 1. Just replace 1. y1 means replace x by 1 uh, in the expression of y. So, let's try question number 58. Condition given in 58. So, we have y1 is equal to we are dealing with part A, so replace x by 1 in part A, 1 to 1, 1 over t dt minus 3. So, integral, uh, definite integral from A to A of some function is 0. So, this is 0, minus 3. So, answer is minus 3. So, th this uh, means that 58 and A matches. That is, A is the solution of the solution problem in uh, 58. Right? Okay, let's try another question. That is part B. Now for part B. Derivative, first of all, that is d by dx of this whole expression. Okay. Now this is equal to again uh, secant x using uh, fundamental theorem part 1 and uh, plus u. So answer is secant x. So see uh, part uh, question number 56 and 57. Uh, both have derivative is equal to secant x. Now uh, which condition satisfies this problem? So let's see. Y is 0. Now uh, what is the target? Answer is 4. That is uh, we are uh, left uh, we should left with this 4 so in order to uh, have 4 what we need this part must be equal to 0 now this would be 0 if upper limit is 0 right so that is given in in this question that is question number 57 so y 0 is 4 so let me Try y zero is zero to zero second t dt plus four. Again, uh, integral from a to a 
of some function is 0. So this is 0 plus 4 and answer is 4. Right? So question number 57 matches with part B and rest is quite uh, uh, straightforward. So let me uh, draw the arrows. What is the solution of which question? So part A is the solution of 58. Part B is the solution of 57 according to our findings. And now, can you guess what is the solution of uh, 55? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I hope you would have guessed right. This. And part 56, solution of this is part So this is how it looks like. And that is the solution. Okay, now keeping this technique in mind, uh, we can solve uh, question number 59 and 60. So let's try. Express solution of initial value problem in excess 59 and uh, 60 in terms of integrals. See, uh, from 58 to 58, we have uh, differential equations and their solutions are integrals, right? Okay, and this uh, constant actually depends upon their conditions, right? Uh, what we actually sorted out, uh, A is the solution of 58, right? So, condition here is Y1, that is X is 1. If lower limit is equal to the upper limit, then there must be the constants which is same as uh, the value of y at 1, right? So, let's try and find out the solution of 59. Okay, 59, in case of uh, 59, we have dy by dx is equal to secant x, okay? So, y2 is equal to 3. So, what we are going to do, y in this case, must be equal to integral from a to x. a here is 2. 2 to x secant t dt. Okay. Now, uh, just differentiate this using fundamental theorem part 1. Uh, dy by dx is secant x. So, uh, this equation is satisfied. Right. Now, uh, in order to Let's satisfy this initial condition. What should we add here? We should add here 3 so that y2 becomes 3. Okay. Now y2 uh, will make it th th this integral 0 and we will be left with uh, this 3. So y2 is 3, right? And this is uh, question number 15. Okay. Now question number 60. In case of 60, Mm. y is equal to okay guess what should I write here integral upper limit is x what is the lower limit lower limit must be 1 that is with uh, the point given here as initial point of the function square root 1 plus t square because it will become x when we uh, have derivative with respect to x using the uh, uh, fundamental theorem. So, this is 1 plus t square dt. And what is the con uh, constant which must be added uh, is y1 equal to minus 2. So, we should add minus 2. Right? So, this is the solution of this differential equation in terms of integrals.